Hello everyone, I got asked a good question, how to add custom fonts to our PDFs with FPDF2. We're going to go over that right now. As you can see, I have opened up the part1.py and our part4.py. The reason for this is I want to show how to add custom fonts without object-oriented programming and with object-oriented programming. First, let's go over how to add system fonts. Let's scroll down and just after we instantiated our PDF object, what we will do is add a font to that object. So PDF add font, we will name our font. This can be any name that we want. I'm going to use black adder font, which is a Windows font. If you're on Mac, hopefully this process is fairly similar. So what we want to do is open up our run and search for fonts. You know, pull up a window with our fonts here. And as you can see, there's black adder. What we're going to want to do is figure out the file path for this. So just click up here, copy this file path. We'll add it and we can actually specify what type of font. So we want regular. If it was bold, we could say bold or italics. I'll go into more detail in just a second on that. And then what we'll do is pass our file path. If you're on Windows, make sure you say that this is a raw file path. So we do need to add the actual file name. This was a little weird. So you'd think the file name is black adder ITC regular, but it's actually not. And then what we want to do is right click and get the file name. We'll add that and we will include one more argument, uni equals true. What this does is allows true type font subset embedding. I don't really know what that means, but it works with our code. So I'm going to include it. If somebody does know, please leave a comment below. All right, now that we've added our font, this is the font name that we'll use. So let's copy that and we'll change this Helvetica to our black adder font. Let's save our file and run it. So when you're adding custom fonts, if you haven't defined bold and italics font, then you'll get an error. So we only defined regular font. So we'll want to change this to just regular. And that's because that's what we defined up here. So I'll save that and run it again. And then we'll open our PDF and we can see our custom font added. This is using different system fonts, but if we wanted to use other custom fonts, such as a Google font, we can do that as well. And we will search for Google Fonts. For this example, we'll use a font called Matic. So this has two different styles. Let's click it. And we'll download it. And now I'm going to extract that font to a location that is easily accessible. I'm just going to add it to the same folder that our script is in. If you use custom fonts a lot and you have a custom fonts folder, then you can put your fonts in that folder. Now let's get the file path here, copy as path. And then just underneath our black adder font, what we will do is add our new font. Let's call this a Matic. And this is our regular font style. Here we're going to pass our file path to our font and we will set uni equals true. Let's copy this and paste it down here. Add a little space. So now what we're going to do is add our bold, so Matic B, and this is going to change here to bold. And the reason we can do this is because we have that bold file right here. All right, and now let's change this to a Matic. We'll set that to regular and we'll scroll down just a little farther. We'll have this thematic as well. And instead, this time we'll say bold. Let's save that, run our file, open up our PDF. Let's zoom up a little. And there we go. We have our selected font in regular and in bold. In part three and part four, we start getting into more object oriented programming. So let's switch over to that file here and I'll show you how to add custom fonts when we're extending class methods. If you remember from part four, what we did was 
create a new class called PDF that inherits from the FPDF class. To set our custom fonts, what we're going to want to do is add these fonts to our constructor. The one thing that we want to note is that if we define our own constructor, we're going to overwrite our inherited classes constructor. So this is the best way I figured out to include our fonts in our constructor. If there's a better way, let me know. So we're going to define our constructor, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. And we're going to pass in self and keyword args. And then we are going to call the parent classes constructor. We're going to pass in our PDF class and self calling the init with underscore, underscore, init and then pass in our keyword args. Now we can add our fonts. So adding custom Google fonts. And actually, let's just go over here where we add our Google fonts. We'll copy all of this and paste it here. This is actually our system font. Now, instead of adding the font to our PDF class, it's not technically created yet. So what we're going to do is just change these PDFs to self. All right, now let's just play around with our fonts a little bit. We'll call Amatic Bold, sure. We'll call Amatic Irregular in the footer. And then the chapter titles, let's do it in Black Adder. And we'll run Python part 4.py. And you may get this type error saying that init takes one positional argument before we're given. This is something that happens sometimes with object oriented programming. So this one positional argument is actually self. So we are automatically passing in self and these three additional arguments. So what we need to do instead of having these as positional arguments, make them named arguments. So we'll scroll down to where we create our object and make these named arguments rather than positional arguments. So this first argument is actually orientation. This next one is unit. And this last one is format. We'll save that run our script again, and open up our PDF. Perfect, and our fonts have been changed to the fonts that we wanted. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using these fonts as they're kind of hard to read, but I wanted to get something that was distinct enough so that we knew that the font had changed.